look like he just goes in hey y'all welcome back to my channel so a lot of you guys have been enjoying the video of apollo um and have been asking questions about him so i thought to give you guys an update and i have like a list of things on my notes to go through um because there's a lot but um in some he does know his name he knows a few tricks when it comes to um pottying he's he does very well with his schedule so he he's a puppy so he pees a lot so when i wake up in the morning sometimes there's pee on the pee pad in his cage sometimes there isn't but most times there is but when i take him outside he's learning to poop outside He's very traumatized by the leash, um, which I think has to do with when he got his first grooming because they had to pull him and like hold him down that way. So he like shakes whenever I put the leash. So we have a very thin like string, like rope, and then like a little clip on the end that we just put so he can barely feel it. So he has all of his shots. Um, so we do have a folder. Actually, I'm gonna get that so you guys can see what it looks like. <sighs> Okay, so he has a folder labeled Apollo. It has his birth date, the breeder's name, his that he's a purebred, and we just keep all of his like forms and shots in here because after he got his first shots, which I have a video on that if you guys are interested, um, they said you have to go every four weeks after that with the following shots or else you have to restart. And he was very traumatized, so I did not want that to happen. So we just keep all of his records in here. And then, um, so we take him to Petco, that's where his vet is, and we have this Petco app, and basically on here we can keep track of everything, and then we set, set him up for this program where it pays like $19 a month, or we pay $19 a month, and that gives him a free grooming of teeth brushing, paws cut, whatever we want, and you just scan that on this. The blue one right there that says Petco. So yeah, I highly recommend that um, if you like are big on like saving and coupons and keeping up with your dog on the month. Because that really helps us. And then um, also being very organized because whenever you do grooming, they want to see proof that he had their shots. Because they can't even get their first grooming until they have their first two month shots. Well, at least that was at Petco. Okay, so when it comes to giving him a bath, um, I'm going to put in clips because I recorded some of when I gave him his bath last time. Just making sure it's lukewarm water that you let them kind of fill the water running on them before washing them to warm them up. He used to like it when he was a baby, but recently he's just like, he's just been traumatized ever since he got his shots and he felt new type of things on his body. So we're just gentle with him. And then we have a hair dryer um, that was my mom's from years ago that she was like okay we can put him under this to dry him quicker so that way you know he's not cold because he's so little he's just always shaking when he's cold and wet so you know we did that to speed up the process i want to show you guys the treats that i'm currently using with him that he loves and i actually found this from another girl's youtube video about yorkies because yorkies are very picky with when it comes to like certain treats and she uses for her yorkie and her yorkie knows so many commands so i got them off of amazon there's literally a little bit left but they came in a two pack and i'll link these down below but they're called little little gooberlicious soft treat for dogs um and we got these around the time where his teeth it was like really hard for him to chew on treats so this was perfect you can really mush it in your hand and because they're peanut butter flavor he just adores them because the other treat we have, we got these before those. He likes these, but they take him a very long time to chew. Um, these are just the training bits, soft and chewy from um, Chewy.com. We use these for his breath. They are the dental jerky for cleaner teeth and fresher breath. And they're like these green soft sticks that he also really likes. And lastly, which I'm gonna get him so you can see the last treat. I think this is the last one he has, so if I can find them, I'll link them below. My baby! Oh, This is his favorite thing at the moment. He just loves tearing it up, chewing it. 
this is like really good for him because anything he chews he likes to destroy or he gets bored of it but this because he like can't eat, eat it immediately look like he just goes in <laughs> yeah he really likes it and when i need to get things done in my room i literally throw it on the floor put him with it I literally just went downstairs to get that folder. He stayed in my room, chewed this. When I came up, he was still chewing it. Like, this keeps your dog occupied if you need to get things done and you don't want to worry about them running around everywhere. But at least wait till they're, I'd say, two months so that you don't hurt their, like, baby teeth. Or maybe three months, yeah. Um, like, the, he's the perfect age for this because he's past the teething stage and his teeth have grown in, so he just loves chewing on things. But yeah, this is Dinka Butt. His his neck is so tiny. So we at first had a cat collar on him, but when you like when he pulls on that with the leash, it comes undone because it's not like a buckle. It's just like it's hard to hard to explain. So now we have this like girly cheetah rhinestone collar on him because it's like the next thing that fits him that we found. Um, and then we're trying to find a harness that's small enough for him. But when we were at Petco. They showed us, and they were like, this is the smallest we have, and it was still too big. So, he's three pounds. Um, he was three pounds his first visit, and now he's 3.8. And that was, what, four weeks later? So, he's weighing more, but he's not growing. He's not growing. Let me show you guys his body. He's just so little. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> he's so tiny. Like, look. Apollo. He's so baby. He's such a baby. And he loves cuddling. Let me see if he'll do it. But he's so focused on that treat. Come here. Come here. Okay, really? No. It's me time. Come here. Pull. Come here. This is baby. Come here. Yeah. So sometimes he'll let me. He'll cuddle with me. And he'll just lay on my chest. Yeah. But right now he's really worried about that treat. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the tricks that he can do, and I'm gonna use this since he's doing the most with it right now. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys that. Let me see. Let me see. Sit. Good. Hold on. Get up so they can really see. Sit. Good boy, Sting. Good boy. And then another thing he knows is up. I'm trying to teach him up. Hold on, hold on. Up. Good. That's a good boy. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how he can get in his cage. Get in your cage. Thank you. Good boy. He just really wants his treat. Come on. Let's show them again. Get in your cage. Get in your cage. Thank you, big boy. Good job. But yeah, those are the little tricks that he knows. I'm trying to teach him. Give me paw. And... What else am I trying to teach him? So he has a, like a dog bed. And I'm trying to teach him the difference. Like go to your bed, go to your cage. So yeah, we're working on that. And then I forgot to show you guys, but this is what we use to carry him like to and from the vet. And on this side, it has like a little thing that we keep like hand sanitizer, a bowl, like a harness. And like if he needs food or water, we'll put it in there. Sometimes he's always hungry. Sorry if you can hear him. Um... But the brand of that is Petmate. It's a really perfect size for him because he's so little. And I highly recommend Goodwill for just finding pet things. They literally have a pet section and we found brand new pee pads for $3 there. And we still have them and it's been a month, like over a month. So yeah, highly recommend that. And then for his like, like what we use after we bathe him and stuff, which you guys probably saw on the clip, is just this like brush. It's two sided. This was Rocky's. Um, but yeah. It's like two sides, this one's soft, this one's a little harder, and this just keeps his coat nice and soft and clean, and yeah, those are pretty much the updates I have. Um, I really didn't even plan on doing this, but a lot of you guys love him, and I see why, because he's so lovable and so cute, but yeah, Apollo, come here, oh well, yeah. Let's say bye to the people. Let's get close. Say bye.
Bye. Oh, look at your face. But yeah, that um pretty much concludes this video. I just wanted to give you guys updates. Um, you know, tips and tricks, things that are working, things that aren't. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your puppy or if you're searching for one, I hope you find one that you want. Um, we're really shocked that he's still this little because his parents are the normal size, his siblings are normal size, but he just turned out a little baby, a little baby. Thank you guys so much for watching and for loving Apollo. Um, but this concludes the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what other puppy videos you want to see. If you guys want to see a video just dedicated to me giving him a bath, me teaching him tricks. Uh, we may do training classes with him, so if that happens, I'll probably, you know, record that. But, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And T-Gang out. Bye, y'all.